Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to see what happens when you raise a product of disjoint cycles to a power. So in this particular case, we're starting with two disjoint cycles, sigma and tau, where we know that sigma has length m and tau has length n. Now, in another video, we were able to show that if you raised sigma to the mth power, you get the identity because sigma had length m. And if you raise tau to the nth power, you also get the identity, again, because tau had length n. Now, in class, we, were, uh, we have a result which says that if you have two disjoint cycles, then those disjoint cycles must commute. So that tells you that sigma tau is the same as tau sigma. So that means if we raise sigma tau to the mn power, well, this means we're going to take sigma tau and we're going to multiply it by itself m times n times. All right, but because we have already discovered that sigma and tau commute, that means I can rewrite all of these sigmas and taus in any order I like. And I'm going to choose to write it all the sigmas together, and there are m times n of them, and all the taus together, and there are m times n of those. Now, I know that raising sigma to the mn, that means I'm going to write down sigma times sigma times sigma mn times, that's also the same thing as writing sigma to the m n times in a row. And tau to the m n, that's the same thing as writing tau to the n m times in a row. But we already know that sigma to the m is equal to the identity. So this is the identity to the n. And tau to the n is equal to the identity. So this is the identity to the m. And of course, you can apply the identity as often as you like and you still just get the identity.